Okay, I haven't done a video in a long time on a, an actual build video. I've been doing videos on TikTok, which I uh, am probably going to be getting rid of TikTok for several reasons. And I uh, wanted to do a video on one of these next-gen or Gen 7 NASCAR kits from Salvino's because I, I don't think I ever did a video on these before. And uh, I had an issue a few months back where I lost a lot of my old video. But I, uh, I plan on getting back into making <clears throat> some more build videos. And uh, I've already, I'm pretty far into this kit, but I uh, don't really see a reason to just entirely start from the beginning. So I've put everything together pretty much and uh, I'll go from there just, you know, showing everyone how I build these because they're a lot different from uh, the other NASCAR kits that are out there from the old monogram kits or the, the AMT or Revell kits. I mean, these are just a totally different kind of race car than the older car or the other generations of NASCARs were. And uh, this is the Chase Elliott Kelly Blue Book car. And uh, one nice thing about these, if you don't like to paint a lot or don't, uh, don't feel like you can match the paints right, is uh, Salvino's issues these and the body is already the correct color, the you know main correct color that it that it should be, and then all the roll cage parts are uh, the white or dove gray or you know I've heard both I've heard these are white. Other people say it's a dove gray. That it looks white to me, but I just uh, I put this roll cage together without <clears throat> doing any painting except for the detail work and painted that fuel cell red and put some clear blue over the top of it like to make it look authentic and then there's those boxes on the passenger side that are uh, silver and black which I, I detailed and painted and I've uh, put the engine together and I'll probably put this what I've got here I'll I'll finish detailing it and put it in the car and I'll put the uh, the rest of the engine together once I mount it in there but uh, that's the Chevrolet R07 NASCAR engine that they, they currently run in these. And it's very nicely detailed. And, you know, the, these have the, uh, they're set up like a Corvette where they have the actual transmissions in the back of the car. And the drive shaft runs between the uh, bell housing and the, trans, the actual transmission. And those uh, Hendrick valve covers don't come with the kit, though. They were, I had those on a NASCAR goodie sheet that I've had sitting around for a long time. And uh, try to make it look as detailed as I can. Most of these blocks I've seen are black, just like they were in the old days. And the rest of the engine's aluminum, got aluminum parts. And I still need to detail that oil some, which is black and like a clear red usually. These have real nice tires that you don't have to do any sanding on or cut anything off of and they always come with the, the period correct decals on them and of course the kits always have the power slide decals. Now I did paint this kit because I took it out of the box and it, uh, I tried to clear coat it using a rattle can and it, uh, it had a real dull look which is probably my mistake. I probably should have airbrushed some clear coat on it which I'll do next time but I'm not that worried about it. And I painted this with some AMC blue paint that I've had sitting around a long time. And I think it's just a little too dark, but I'm not worried about it. It still turned out really nice, and I've <clears throat> put pretty much all the decals on it. And these kits come with these. I still need to paint these. These, uh, these correct wheels that are really nice. I'll be painting these metallic black along with that back shelf that goes behind the driver's area over the fuel cell. And I've still got some other other parts to put together on this, and I'll uh, I'll do a follow up to this video, and as it goes along, which uh, in the next day or so, I should have pretty much everything put together for the final assembly. Like I said, you don't have to paint very much on these kits. Uh, one area I do always paint, <clears throat> just from the reference pictures I've seen, is uh, that floorboard is usually white inside the car like the uh, rest of the roll cages. So I, <clears throat> it come, you have this piece that goes on the bottom of the roll cage. So I glue that down and tape around it. And then I, uh, well, I painted the silver first and then 
I sprayed it with some white paint and I put the seat and pedals and gear shifter and the fire extinguisher in. And then I have this roll cage together. I still need to add some of the suspension parts and I will uh, just glue that down on top of it. <clears throat> and uh, like I said, I'll post, I'll get the rest of this put together and, and post another video. But I wanted to uh, start doing some build videos again and, and show how I build one of these because I've, you know, there's a different methods people use and just want to show everyone how I do it. Thanks for watching.